Hello everyone, it's me, the Little Mermaid, and I'm excited to be hosting the first ever episode of STEM Saturdays, where every Saturday you can tune in from the comfort of your own kingdom to participate in science, technology, engineering, and math activities with me and my princess friends. So, let's put on our thinking caps and dive right in, because today we are going to be exploring species, specifically aquatic species, just like me. For our activity today, we'll be reading the story, Fidgety Fish and Friends, and we'll be classifying each of the aquatic animals that we learn about in this story by their species category. So to do that, we'll need a couple materials. First, you'll need a piece of paper. This can be a white paper like I have, or you could use construction paper. You'll also need coloring materials. I have crayons, but you can use colored pencils or markers too. Then you'll also need masking tape and a Sharpie. To use these items, you'll probably need a grown-up's help. You'll need scissors as well, and one of these gizmos that's made of plastic and goes around bottles and cans. I don't know what they're called in the human world. This is what they look like. Sometimes there are six, but we'll just need four today. So if yours has six compartments, you'll just cut it. All right. And we'll be making, for our final product, a species sort that looks something like this. So grab your materials and let's get learning. Now before we begin, I want to talk about what a species is and why scientists use species to classify organisms or living things. Well, in terms of aquatic animals, like the ones we'll find in our story, we are going to classify those into fish, crustacean, reptile, and invertebrate. That way, we can see if they share some of the same features, right? So fish like me, like mermaids, or my friend Flounder, fish have the ability to breathe underwater using their gills. That's something that makes them very different from all of these other types of animals. Then moving on to crustaceans. Crustaceans, like my friend Sebastian, they have hard shells that protect them. And that's how we classify them. Then the next one is a reptile. Now there aren't a lot of reptiles under the sea, but I think you'll find one in our book. So let's keep an eye out for it. But reptiles are usually scaled and they lay eggs. And that's how we differentiate them from other animals. But something interesting, they're not like fish. Fish lay eggs too, but they cannot breathe out of their gills. They don't have them. So that's how we know that they're reptile. And invertebrate. That's a long word, but invertebrate means doesn't have a backbone. So I think we'll find some examples of those. And let's use our scientist skills to see if we can figure it out as we read our story. For the first part of our activity, you'll need to make categories so that we can complete our species sort as we read our story. To do this, you'll need to have four of these compartments on your plastic gizmo. If you have six, go ahead and cut them right now using scissors safely. Then, once you've done that, you're going to ask a grown-up for help with labeling each of these using your masking tape and your Sharpie. It will end up looking something like this. We have four categories, which will be fish, crustacean, reptile, and invertebrate. I want you to do your best to help your grown up sound out these words. I know that some of them are longer and trickier, but you all are so smart, I bet you could do it. Now that you've made your gizmo to classify your species, we are going to read our story. Be sure to have this handy along with your paper and your coloring utensils because you'll be coloring or drawing each animal as we encounter it in our story. All right, let's begin. Fidgety Fish and Friends. This story is by Paul Bright. Fidgety Fish. I 
love to flip and fidget, to dive and dart and dash. I wiggle my bottom and jiggle my tail with a fidgety swish, splish, splash. He looks like a lot of fun. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take time to draw out fidgety fish and classify him based on the species you think he is. Don't worry about being right or wrong. I want you to use your scientist skill of inferring to make a prediction about what kind of species you think he is. We'll go over them at the end, so don't worry if you don't get it right. All right, here's our next animal, Smiley Shark. Look how happy he is. All sensible sharks agree, I'm as silly as a shark can be. I giggle and grin if you tickle my fin and wriggle my tail with glee. He looks like he's making friends with the fish. All right, go ahead and classify him now, scientists. Amazing angelfish. There are short fish, long fish, thin fish, fat fish, Funny looking flatfish, dogfish, and catfish. Some are very big. Some are teeny weeny small. Can I be the one who is the prettiest of all? What do we think? She looks pretty beautiful. All right, go ahead and take time to draw out your angelfish and classify her into a species category. Next is clickety crab. Hey, he kind of looks like Sebastian. My snip snap claws go clickety click. My legs tap a tune on the sand. I sing and I drum and I whistle and hum. I'm the wonderful one crab band. All right, go ahead and draw him and classify him. And we'll move on to our friend, shy octopus. Octopus hides inside his cave. He's really very shy. So please give him a friendly wave next time you're passing by. All right, once you've categorized those, we're ready to move on to Jiggly Jellyfish. We wibble and we wobble like jelly in a dish. We bounce and bop and bobble we're the Jiggly Jellyfish. What's next? Spectacular Starfish. We are the Spectacular Starfish. We swirl and twirl all about. We skip and we spin as the tide's coming in. Then again as the tide's going out. Shiny snails. Ten little sea snails hiding in the sea. Each has a bright shell, shiny as can be. All right, go ahead and classify those little scientists. Super seahorses. Can you see the seahorses? Can you spot a snout? Can you find? A tail or tummy sticking out? Can you see the seahorse friends all playing peekaboo? Jumping out and laughing, shouting, I found you. Proud pufferfish. Why does a pufferfish puff, puff, puff? Only the pufferfish knows. He blows out with his chest with a huff, huff, puff, and grows and grows and grows. Terrific turtle. See the fish join in the fun when turtle comes to play. Chasing, hiding, swooshing, gliding, laughing all the way. All right, go ahead and classify those last two. Fidgety fish and friends, swimming and skittering under the sea with a smile and a swirl and a swish. All of his friends love to play every day with the fabulous fidgety fish. And look at all of those animals there. That looks like a 
party. <laughs> and that's the end of our story. Thanks for listening and following along. I'm curious to see if you all could complete your category sort based on our four categories. Thanks for following along to Fidgety Fish with me. Before I leave you all, I wanted to go over what we all decided were our species for our species sort. I'll share with you my answers and then you can check your work, little scientists. So for our four fish, we have shark, seahorse, angelfish, and fidgety fish. Those should be your four fish. Then, moving on to crustacean, our crab was the only crustacean in this story, but I'm going to challenge you to see if you could think of more examples of crustaceans in the water. Again with reptile, we only had one animal that fit this category, and that was our sea turtle. And finally, moving on to our invertebrates, remember animals that don't have a backbone? We had our sea snails, our sea star, our octopus, and our jellyfish. Pretty interesting, right? Now I'm going to challenge you, little scientists, to share one cool thing that you learned today in our species short with a grown-up or a friend. Thanks for participating, everyone. I had a splash, and I hope you all did too. We hope to see you next week where another one of my friends will be doing another fun STEM activity with you all. Have a great rest of your weekend and an awesome week ahead. Bye.